Alright guys, so welcome back to Gamer Today! Some of you guys might be wondering when is Winterfest 2020 coming and I'm going to tell you, it might be today, it might not be. We're going to go into that and so much more in this video so make sure to stay tuned. Anyways guys, so first thing we need to talk about are the leaks, the things that we've actually seen that we know are for sure coming to the game and then some speculation. And the first thing we need to talk about is Snow Mando, he's for sure a confirmed skin you can see right on screen, this is what he's going to look like in the game. He's basically a mix between Sergeant Winter and a snowman, he's totally cool. Now guys, let's talk about a glider that's coming to the game, we have the Winter Wing, this one is confirmed. 100% in the game files, we know it's coming. Whether it's going to be from the presents or the challenges, we don't know just yet. Yes, guys, there's going to be winter challenges as well as an LTM. But now we do know a few more things coming to the game of Fortnite, such as this loading screen. Isn't it cool? I know it's just a loading screen, but I like these Christmas loading screens. I get all pumped up about them, and I usually use them all the way into February. Yeah, you believe that? It's like leaving your tree up all that time. I do it. Uh, yeah, I really actually do leave the tree up, no joke. There's also a new rap called the Danger Frog. I think this is kind of neat, but honestly, it's not my favorite rap. I already have all those and I have all the best Christmas ones as well. So yeah, be jelly right now. Anyways guys, so it's kind of neat. Of course it's just a wrap, it doesn't really fit Christmas. I don't know why it's coming part of Winterfest or part of the challenges, but it's supposed to be coming. That's cool, I guess. Next thing we gotta talk about is a banner, the Candy Cane banner. Now, this is an important thing to talk about, guys, because there's a little bit of a hint here. Did you remember that thing in the beginning I showed you, the Candy Cane guy? Well, he's probably coming as well in the Winterfest, but we're not sure of it yet. Will he be coming to the item shop? We don't know. Will he be an unlockable within like the presents? We don't know. Will he be basically part of the Operation Showdown challenges? We really don't know. The reason I say that this is crucial is because if he's coming to the game at all, he's going to be somewhat like Peely, and he's going to have basically the same form and shape as Peely, but in candy cane form. And we all like the Peely skin, so this is totally cool. I wonder where his headshot will be though, like where's the head on a candy cane? I don't know. Now my best guess is going to be that the candy cane skin is going to be the last present that we open, or part of the Operation Showdown challenges, in some way, or there might be some accessories for him in the Operation Showdown. We really don't know, guys. It's speculation at this point. This is not confirmed. But the Candy Cane skin is going to be coming to the game. I have not confirmed it. It's just, come on now. We know it's coming to the game. Let's be real. It's been leaked by Fortnite themselves, so obviously it must be coming. And the banner we know is confirmed, so why wouldn't that come to the game? It just makes sense to me. I don't know, though. It may not. Anyways, guys, the other thing we need to talk about is there's two more pickaxes coming as well. The Polar Pickaxe, which either is going to be in the item shop or it might be in one of the presents. More than likely, I'm guessing this is going to be an item shop item because they need something to basically be for the holidays, and it looks like a paid item, based on the source code that we've seen so far from the data miners. So yeah, that one's kind of a bummer, and there's also this like frozen like arm, like hand thing, I don't know, it's like pickaxes, they look okay, they might match up with some new skins, I don't know. But the polar pickaxe has been in the code for quite a while now, so it would be exciting to see that come to the game finally. Now guys, it's important to remember, there's a lot of leaked information out there that just isn't true. There's a lot of people making their own Fortnite items, their own Fortnite Winterfest fake stuff, and that's what I'm kind of going to show in this video right now. Some of it might be true, some of it might not be. We know some some of it's confirmed, but also some of these present ideas are just mock-ups. There are ideas that people have had and basically said, well, this could be coming to the game of Fortnite. They really don't know that it is. So don't take it as the word of oath, you know, it's not basically the truth. We don't know yet. It could be correct but it may not be, so don't get your hopes up, that's all I'm saying. Now guys, I'm excited for Winterfest 2020, but I'll be honest with you, they can't beat Season 7, they just can't. Season 7 was a whole season dedicated to Christmas, that was my favourite season. Now one thing we also need to mention is guys, planes are coming back, yes, planes! I'm sure they're going to be the version 2 of the planes, which I didn't really care for to be honest with you. I like the original planes after they were patched, okay, not when they were OP and took over the entire map. Right when they were patched and they actually became fun to use, I used them for sniping and all these other things I did with them that were crazy, and you guys really fell in love with my channel during Season 7 as a result. My sniping abilities are insane, especially when I'm on a plane or balloons. Hopefully they bring balloons back, but I know they won't. It would be too much fun for me, and they don't want me to have fun. Now guys, we need to talk about Operation Snowdown. Operation Snowdown are going to be challenges dedicated to the Christmas month, as you guys know, and Winterfest to follow with it. So it's going to be a pretty big thing. How the challenge is going to be handled with the whole new challenge interface, and how it's got all the bounties and all this stuff to do, I really don't know, to be honest with you. It's going to be a lot more complicated I really don't like the new challenge system because I get confused. If I'm getting confused, there's someone out there who's also confused. So yeah, I don't really like it. I'm so used to the old way challenges were done with the battle pass and all that. It's just more convenient. I liked it better. I wish they would do that. I don't know if they're going to for these challenges for the Operation Snowdown. Hopefully they do. Or make it like a separate menu or something. I don't know. Hopefully they can make it obvious. But yeah, guys, it's going to be a whole series of challenges. We're going to get season XP as well as some exclusive items that you can only get during this event. The next thing we need to talk about, guys, is the LTMs coming to Fortnite. Yeah. 
yeah, there's going to be more than one of them. But let me explain that, because we also got the fan-made and creative map ones that are basically made by people like you and me, who are actually creative, but I'm not creative in the world of Fortnite, so that's not going to happen. But you guys get the idea, you submit your projects and Fortnite sometimes greenlights them. And that's basically what happened with the Red vs. Blue, the Halo, you know, map they did recently. They've been doing tons of LTMs like that for a while now, so I think you guys get the idea. But we also have the main LTM, which is the one that everyone's going to be playing, because we're all going to have no option but to play this LTM during the Winterfest time. Basically, it's going to be like something like Season 7, where they have the fog and the snow and stuff. That's what we're being told anyway. We don't know if that's going to be true. This could be a problem, though. We just had the October update that did the same thing with the whole fog, and nobody liked it. It was cool for a day, and everyone's like, God, I just want to play regular Fortnite again. So we all went to basically ru uh, Team, not Team Rumble, well, some of us went to Team Rumble. They went to Creative, Team Rumble, or Arena Mode to get their fix of Fortnite. And that's kind of blows, you know, because not everyone's good enough to be in Arena, not everyone wants to play a very, you know, sweaty game of Fortnite. So guys, I hope this doesn't happen this time. Anyways guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below, did this video help you, and if it did, let me know, I'm curious. Anyways guys, until next time, it's been Gamer Today.